Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shireen. I'm an interior designer from New York City coming to you today from another Harlem project. Nestled in Harlem is this beautiful duplex and today we're going to be talking about one half of the first floor. In this duplex you can see that they have floor to ceiling windows on both the kitchen and the great room side. On the kitchen side, we've maximized this light by blowing in a bright white kitchen with gloss cabinets. The seamless panel-ready cabinetry hides the refrigerator, appliances, trash, and other storage in the space. And one of my favorite elements is the integrated bar. Their dining table has uh, six chairs to it, and I, I love the mid-century feel of the tulip table in this proper walnut. I feel like the walnut really warms up the black and white elements of the space. And I opted to go with a washable rug beneath the dining table because rugs in general are controversial. And I think that if you're gonna do one under the dining table, you'd better have one that can kind of easily be maintained for everyday living. I have a lot of favorite things in this kitchen. I am not going to lie to you. But one of my favorite favorite things is this KitchenAid mixer. This KitchenAid mixer right here is a specialty collector's edition. It has this studded bowl. I just, I, when I talk about texture, this is like the thing. So, designer, builder, would put regular KitchenAid mixer, or you would usually see regular KitchenAid mixers. So you've seen tons of them in different kitchens, in different kitchens. Builder upgrade from designer. The designer is going to look for the thing with the texture. So not just the KitchenAid mixer, but also mix, mixing it with plants. The standard floorboards and baseboards that were in this space were just the regular baseboard heaters. They really weren't that much fun at all. And so we put in these custom baseboard heaters with vents that mimic the rest of the vents in the space. I think that that was the perfect complement done for this particular room. On this angle of the dining, you can get a better shot of the rug that's on the floor. And you can also see the hardwood floors, which are stained black. This was a really particular decision. If you stain hardwood floors black, just know that you cannot come back from that. Unlike other colors where you can sand and then potentially go back and stain it other colors, black stains so far down into the grooves that any sanding will still have you end up with black. So it's a decision that you need to be sure that you wanna make. And I think it 100% was the right decision in this instance. Their light fixture that hangs over the table, I think blends in well with the ceiling and the recessed lights. And then also just has a touch of gold in the inside in order to warm up that space. Those chairs have a nice juxtaposition of soft and hard with the cushion that sits on top of the wired framing, still very mid-century modern and plays well with the rug. This angle of the kitchen is showing you the triangle. What you can't really see in the far right corner is the refrigerator, which is also panel ready and the double drawer freezer that's on the bottom. You can kind of see the dishwasher there that is also covered in a panel to the right of the sink kind of the most convenient way to place it within this triangle. And for this client in particular, they are right-handed, so it made sense to load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher on the right. We do take that into consideration when designing for our clients, because if you're left-handed, it would make sense to have that dishwasher over on your left, depending on how the floor plan plays out. One of my favorite things that we did in this kitchen is the kitchen island that sits in the center. This creates the proper size dynamic of a triangle that goes around. And we were able to put in the ventilation above the kitchen. It's not something that's really obtrusive that comes in and kind of like takes over as some hoods do, but this one kind of just feels like it belongs in the space. And beneath this kitchen island is an expansive amount of cabinet and storage. There's additional storage underneath here, which can be used at any time, or you can push your bar stool back in whenever you're not using it so that you have a great floor of space walking from this back. As you move further down the kitchen, you can see the kitchen island, which has this walnut peninsula that comes out. It's a callback to the walnut shelving that's in the bar and add some additional countertop space and just writing space and also some storage with the cubbies in the corner. Other things to call out are the outlet covers that are on the side of the bar 
These kitchen islands have outlets that also have USB plugs in them, which kind of reduces some of the clutter when you have a bunch of different bricks that you're trying to plug in. And as far as the designer details, another thing to call out here is you'll notice we did different outlet covers for different locations. This gives you a better angle of the peninsula that I was telling you about. This peninsula has that pull-out chair, it's a high top bench. It also has additional lighting. These pendant lights I think are a super fun accent of task lighting to be able to get work done in this space. If you wanted to turn this into a little bit of an office, I think nowadays there's always the kind of a congregation going on in the kitchen. And because we're also like working from home, this is a great space for that. It's a great nook for your additional cookbooks. I just like that mix of having some open shelving and some closed. And in this instance, the open shelving is for a lot of their cookbooks and just kind of the drop zone in the kitchen that usually would be overlooked. The nook is a whole moment. You have a complete drop zone behind you, as I mentioned, and this is some examples of how you could style that space and just sit here and lounge in your kitchen if you're not cooking or if you have guests over, there's additional places for them to sit and relax and be calm in your space. And I think that that is an amazing asset to a kitchen. And when you have the space, you can utilize it like this for sure. You can get a hint of the faucet from this angle and that faucet is a motion sensor faucet. So you literally can just put your hand there and it will turn on and put your hand there again and it will turn off. Once the temperature is set, anytime that you adjust it or go near it, it'll stay at that temperature. So you really only have to touch the nozzle when you want to adjust the temp. The other great thing about this is if you're like seasoning food and things like that, and your hands are dirty, you don't get any of that on the polish of the chrome of the faucet. This angle kind of pulls back a little bit and shows you the dining table in context to the island and some additional bar stool seating. There are storage cabinets under the island, but you also have some bar stools there so you can either store items there or you can have other people sit there and it's just additional seating that opens up this kitchen even more. I love how this long hallway shows you the angle of what it is to transition from the kitchen down into their great room. There are actually two closets hidden in these concrete walls. I'm not sure if you can see them. The first one is their coat closet and laundry room. And then that second door that's down there is their powder room. I will show you those later on down the line. We're still wrapping up a few things in those areas. And then in the very far back, you can see their great room, which is also coming together nicely. We just have to wait several more weeks for a chair to arrive. This view is a beautiful shot of the microwave, the drawers beneath it, and just, I mentioned a callback earlier with the walnut. Similar to comedy, when you are doing some sort of comedy spiel and being creative in that angle, you want to call out things throughout your skit and then you want to bring them back to life later on. And we do the same thing in design with this repetition. So you'll notice even like the Myers soap that's next to the sink has this kind of copper peachy color to it, almost like a coral color. And I opted to put a planter that has that same coral color and then we call it out again in the rug that's on the floor. Kitchen rugs are controversial also, whether people have them or don't have them. I am pro kitchen rug. I like to have something underneath my feet in the kitchen and so do my clients. And in this case, it was a great opportunity to bring in a pop of color. This is kind of a close up of the bar. You may have seen a clip earlier where you can see the backlighting on there, which helps you to really get a better view of the backsplash. Here you're seeing just a few of the floating shelves and some of the glasses. I think the balance of this is very important. If you have a kitchen that's totally closed off all the way across, it could come off too harsh. And if you have a kitchen that's completely open shelving left to right, unless you're regularly staging that, that can come across a little bit too messy. But this is a proper balance of having an open bar and then also having space for you to store your things and hide away the things that you don't want people to see. Nowadays, people are really going away from the glossy cabinets, but I don't think that that's a mistake. I love this gloss on this cabinet and I think that it plays nicely with the concrete finish and the leather that's in the space. And I like the balance that those two things offer. Have you subscribed? Have, have you subscribed to the channel? You have not. Oh, you have not, I see. Well, there's a little button right below this video. That's really important. And I would appreciate you subscribing because your girl is working hard over here to bring this content to you. I'm grateful that you take the time to watch it. I would love if you subscribe. I'd love even more if you comment down below, ask me questions. I'm happy to answer them. 
about anything regarding the design aesthetics or Green Shireen Design. To check out more about what's happening with the company, you can go over to greenshireendesign.com and I will put the website right here so that you can see what it is and it's also linked down in the description below. Thank you.